The United States, Britain and France carrying out airstrikes against targets in Syria in response to the suspected chemical weapons attack in eastern Ghouta a week ago. Multiple explosions have been heard in Damascus and in the city of Homs. In the statement announcing the attacks, President Donald Trump blamed Iran and Russia for supporting Syria's President Assad and described the Syrian leader as a monster. Last Saturday, the Assad regime again deployed chemical weapons to slaughter innocent civilians, this time in the town of Doma. The evil and the despicable attack left mothers and fathers, infants and children thrashing in pain and gasping for air. These are not the actions of a man. They are crimes of a monster instead. Well, that was President Trump. We can talk now to Danny Mackey, a British-born journalist who is based in Western Damascus. And uh, presumably, um, you heard quite a uh, quite a few bangs, Danny. Yes, it was quite a quite a shocking moment, actually, at around four thirty in the early hours of um, this morning here in Damascus, where a number of a number of U.S.-led uh, strikes happened. Now, the first batch of, of strikes was about. 10 or 10 or 11 strong and they were consecutive woke me up they woke the entire neighborhood up instantly and you could sense straight away that this wasn't your your typical you know damascus uh, sounds of war this was a, a u.s attack this was a, a far greater far more heavier strike and after the next five six minutes uh, syrian air defenses began to fire s200 missiles into the sky along with uh, tracer fire from shelka tanks and uh, this continued for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes before another wave of U.S.-led airstrikes hit different um, areas around the capital. And these are mainly three areas. The first is in Berze, which is in East Damascus, and that is a, a research facility suspected to have links with uh, a chemical weapons program. The second was Meze Military Airport within the center of the center of Damascus, and that is one of the the only military uh, base. Uh, where jets can go out of from the center of Damascus. The third is actually a location very near here, which is called Jamraya, and that is a research facility. Uh, it's about one kilometer away from here, and and I can I can definitely confirm that the last uh, target was was struck intensely because when the missiles fell on on Jamraya, I mean, this entire neighborhood. Uh, shook to the core. So it's, it's mm. conspicuously been a very long evening, as you can imagine. And go ahead. Given the um, the off stage noises from America, from the UK, and from France, um, as, as a citizen in Damascus, were, were you surprised that this happened? Well, absolutely not. I've been expecting an attack for the last four or five days since the alleged chemical weapons attack and the international outrage that it has in tandem generated. But I didn't expect the attack to happen today in particular, nor did most of the people in Damascus. So it essentially caught a lot of people here by surprise. I mean, they've been through a war for seven years, so not a lot, can, not a lot of actions can surprise them. But it did because no one was really expecting this particular timing of the attack to happen. You've got a, a delegation from the United United Nations set to enter Douma today to to investigate the the, the alleged chemical weapons use uh, in the site which was targeted, and you've had all of the indicators over the previous 48 hours have suggested that a case of um, of de-escalation was on on the horizon that the U.S. and Russia was going to reach some sort of rapprochement and, and through politics and diplomacy this would be solved. No one expected such a such an attack today on on different provinces it wasn't just syria it wasn't just damascus uh, sorry homs was homs reportedly well, targeted yeah. as well and and hama masyaf there is a big research center there which was targeted as well so it seems relatively widespread but but in limited particular military sites it's not a widespread attack on five six seven different sites in damascus it's it's three sites within Damascus, main sites which have been struck, one in Homs and one in Hama, and that's been limited uh, over the previous few hours. Danny, thank you very much. Danny Mackey, British-born journalist who's based in western Damascus.